Hey everybody, welcome back to Wall World. I don't know if you saw the last one, but we got very unlucky. We're getting to that second boss consistently, but without some help from drones and turrets and stuff, it seems like you'll just get overwhelmed. And um, that was a real challenge. So hopefully we get a little bit luckier today. Um, ideally, we kind of keep the same type of mining pattern that we did last time. That seemed to work out really well. So we want to go for some of these basics, and then we want to go into uh, the greens, and then we want to go into the, like, titanium balls. That that process is definitely the way to go. Um, that said, I don't know if we can guarantee it all the time, where we're going to find those. So I'm going to try, because we're kind of figuring things out a bit. We are going to try going south again and seeing if we can identify a sort of pattern for where certain minerals are more likely to be. Now, that would be interesting if it was like that because it means you kind of are going to do a similar path every time, but this game seems like it has like it has an end, you know? Something like Dome Keeper uh, is made for like just constantly doing run after run after run and uh, this is like just sort of the progression of you like learning the way through here I think that's my that's my vibe and I'm hoping that that's correct I should have checked how deep this was okay we're gonna clog up here that's pretty decent we can afford to be a bit late on this one. As you know. Okay, give me something sick. What is this? This is new. Every 90 seconds, the spider produces a portable induction booster, increasing movement speed in the mine and drilling efficiency in its range. Huh. Okay. Okay. Let's take this upgrade. Uh, 18 and 2 for this one is next. We have not seen that before. Very cool. So what do I do with this? Oh. I take this to a spot... I assume, and, uh, oh, okay. oh, okay, so it's very close. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat, so it's a little bit of extra micromanagement. But I could probably upgrade it to get the uh, the tether range better, right? That would be my guess. And if you if you kind of place it like here, then as you're mining, it can just drop down on its own. Okay, we'll take it. I actually didn't want to do that. It says it's going to make one every 90 seconds. Like, does that mean I could just leave it in here? I'm a little late, but... I was trying to grab that out of there. I don't know if you can tell, but my thing wasn't working. So I'm not sure if that's 
on my end or what? Okay, let's get out of here. This I probably didn't even need to come in here, but... Okay, there we go. That was weird. Yeah, it just wouldn't let me do it. Okay, so now we want uh, speed and conscious mining. Let's go. That could have been a bit more efficient, I suppose. Medium here. Nice. Man, I don't... I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe not in these ones, you know? Maybe... Like, because I can just fly through here, right? I think we... I think we focus on using that in... Like, when we're kind of capped out on drilling. We'll figure it out. We'll experiment. Fine, okay, that's like, that's already a massive improvement. We can build turrets. Now, I'm wondering, if we're gonna fight a boss, I'm just thinking here, we probably would like to fight it in a spot like this, where there's two openings, because you could... You could build two turrets, right? And the, the double turrets would be fighting. Is that not correct? I feel like that's correct. I feel like that's a pretty big revelation I've just had there. And I kind of wish I would have thought of it sooner, but I really haven't been in a position to do that, I don't think. But I'll see if I can remember that by the end. And so I guess maybe part of it is trying to keep track of where those locations are with close entrances, so you can build multiple. But then, like, you also have to get there in time. Oh, look, this run's already so much better than the last one. It's crazy. Okay. Shotgun. All right. The shotgun, admittedly, I, sh I struggle with a little bit. Um, but I'm going to try to force myself to get better at it in this run. Because I don't really have another choice. <laughs> Maybe with some upgrades, it becomes a beast. The bomb seems the best, because you have a bunch of AoE damage. The stake thrower seems excellent against the guys on the on the wall. Like, it, like the best. The stake thrower is the best against the guys on the wall. That's clear. gonna drop this here okay okay well, it's got decent penetration as well Take it. I feel like I definitely lost some time messing with that new gadget. But we've got turrets and shotguns, so can I really complain that much? Okay, we're out. So, what do we want? Uh, we want to get into greens soon. Let's take speed here. Um, 10% drilling efficiency boost, but look how expensive it is. 20% range with six greens. Movement speed and range of docking station, like... At a glance doesn't seem awesome, okay? But I'm happy to, I'm happy to be wrong. We'll take this upgrade. 
damage. And we'll take this too, why not? Okay. Let's keep going south. The hunt for greens is on. I might even clear all the space between clouds, like if we don't find anything here. Beautiful, we found it. Okay, so what do I need here for the next mining upgrade? 25 and 4. Okay. I guess at worst, I could just bring a, uh, bring that docking station out here and just use it in one spot. <laughs> I need way more blues. I'm not sure if we got enough. Not quite. That rotation speed, though. How does it fare against these guys? Not great. Okay. Fair enough. Come on. Get him. I need uh, five more blues. See, like, I think this is a perfect application of it. Actually, I don't know if I'm getting double boosted when I'm tethered by both there, but... Just no more blues. And that was... That's, that's actually... That's a rough dive right there. We're too short. That is unfortunate. Okay, if I'm hitting clouds, I'm actually going to go the other way. We're going to cross over a couple of these. I'm experimenting here. But I think we have the speed where this is okay. Should get that gun rotation speed maybe a little bit earlier. We have three pretty close by here. Okay, I'd say that was pretty solid. So these close to are, of course, all basic. And that's fine, because we have enough for our upgrade here. Uh, so next, let's think about what we might want. Um, probably stability, plasma stability. 
and then maybe some shotgun upgrades. I know we buffed the, the turret replicator, which is a big investment, but that'll pay off in the long run. So, like, in these ones, I don't even think it's worth micromanaging that thing. So I'm not going to do it. Nice. Just all the all the drops. Should have scanned it, but I think we're large. Okay. It's an acceptable level of lateness for me. The overdrive. You know what? I'll I'll take that. Thanks. large. Get me in there. Now, we've talked about this a little bit before, but there is something we said for having more limited weapons and upgrades, like in the last run, because you can really max out the stuff that you have, whereas if you get too many things, you're unable to. And even just like efficiency and stuff aside, can cause you to just get distracted by a bunch of other things, too. Come on. It's a pretty impressive amount of balls we have here. that, but here I am. Rotating. Very happy with my, my weapon usage so far. Two minutes left. Call the first boss. 
Uh, we have much stronger missiles now, so I, I'm feeling like that's going to go much quicker. It better. Okay, I have, I have, I have upgrades, man. Uh, I need, I need greens. Let's take this. Let's go pellets, damage, fire rate. And then let's get our basic weapons here, too. Let's go bullet spread, expanding bullets, rotation speed. I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna upgrade the overdrive in this situation. How big is this one? Small. Okay. So, we are gonna do this first boss fight with only one potential heal, but I feel pretty confident that we can do that. Ooh, hello. Lightweight barrel. Okay, thanks. Rotation speed. So it appears that all of the, like, you know, low-level biomes are between the first two sets of clouds. That makes sense. This actually, like, with some of those upgrades, it's shooting pretty deep. As soon as I knocked in response, the knocking stopped. Pity, it was my only distraction. Poor girl. Okay. So we're gonna go south and hope that we can find greens. I don't think I need to build turrets for this first one. Also, like, is this risky? Should I be triggering this wave right now? After, like, during the boss? I kind of feel like maybe not. So I'm gonna try... I'm gonna come up here. Right? So, like, this would be that scenario that I was talking about. Oops. This would be the spot we would want to fight him in. If we had, uh... Turrets set up. Oh, yeah. Okay, like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. So those missiles, um, pretty significant improvement. Got it. Excellent. Excellent. I'm gonna fight my way to where I want to go and then worry about these guys.
See, I actually kind of like this approach right here. Where I'm able to fight on the move and just go and mine out all these things. Hell yeah. This is basically like big scouting opportunity. We are going to have like another wave, but I'm okay with this. Okay, so this is our... Okay, so we've essentially found all of the things. In this section. And we know exactly what biomes we have here. So we're going to go to the green area first. I think it's this one. Yeah. And then above us, we've got the, uh, the titaniums. That's what I'm calling them. I'm killing some of them out there. I do like that it will go for the, the stronger enemies that are off screen as well. I feel like they've really nailed that. Because there would be so many situations where that was wasted. This is small. Am I done yet? What do I need for drilling here? Four titaniums. So actually, <laughs> actually, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna go up to this one. Get our four titaniums. Okay, baby. We're flying. This is great. Uh, so, I need, right now, a total of two, six, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-two titaniums. This is whatever. So, uh, we will... We'll clear this one. And then we build up our stockpile of greens, get the repair efficiencies. I'm curious how many of you guys fast forward through these episodes. For me, it kind of it would take away some of the like the tension, you know. That's what I love about these games is like we have a final goal, but can we actually get there every run? Who knows? Um okay.
Get those explodey ones. No! It's fine. I would really like to see upgrades for, um, for faster docking. I think that would be super cool. And faster ejections, or like, maybe you could toggle and auto eject. That'd be nice. Ah, oh, nice cavern. Um, okay. So this gives us more flexibility in combat. What are we gonna get here? Bomb thrower, stake launcher. Bomb thrower. Okay, 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 okay. We'll take that. Not as much uh, titanium in here as I would have wanted. But we at least have the we at least have the drilling. I think yeah okay. So I think both the emeralds are below us. How big is this? Spamming four. Mine size small. That would also be a nice thing too, where it's like the first time you attach, if that just came up, a little quality of life thing. I would even pay some blues for that. Just saying. Got sweaty in here. Um, we're gonna take the repair efficiency upgrade. If I can get to this, I think this is good. This is pretty good value. But that's a lot of blues away from here. Bomb thrower. I think I will buy the calculator. See, that's one-shotting those now. And this also does a pretty good job of shooting above. And falling below. I guess if it doesn't hit anything above, that's being... Oh, and it missed. Okay. Not super reliable. Dude, those those missile upgrades. <laughs> Holy frick, that's gonna make our lives so much easier. Like, I have a pretty good feeling that we might be able to clear that second boss here. Hello! <laughs> Torpedo drilling unit 2! Okay, so before finding all of the other 8 million blueprints, we are in fact finding level 2 blueprints. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Let's go. We have another emerald section here, I believe.
So I could probably get the opposite side of these, which is cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Things are happening, guys. They're happening. Now, maybe I should be prioritizing the one below here with blues. So I can get that max repair efficiency going. Oh, wow. Hit me with more blueies. Seismic generator. Creates vibrations that slowly destroy blocks within a small radius around the spider. Only works if the spider's connected to the mine. That's so cool. So you can go deep, and then when you come back, that opening section should be mostly mined out. So I see the game, like, last time was definitely like, let's screw him so he really appreciates what happens next time. And uh, they're right. I'm just going to do these early ones because I don't have much time. Forty-eight, twenty-one, and six, hey? Hmm. This takes me further away from this repair efficiency which i think might give us more value right now so i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to hold Now, this is a good spot to actually fight the, uh, the boss, but we have a lot of time left, so I don't know if that's going to happen. How big is this mine? Medium? Mm, okay. I don't think so. That means I'm going to have to go through clouds as well. Hello. That's exciting. Let's see if we can suck these up. It's going to be a bit messy. Okay. This mine's done. Resource radar. This is new too! Once every 10 seconds, the exosuit emits a pulse that briefly highlights resources in a small area. What? So, so uh, like, are some of these things progression based? Based on, like, how many things you've unlocked between rounds or something? It certainly feels like all of a sudden we're getting a whole bunch of new stuff. And I just think about our last round where we got literally. Almost nothing. 
Okay, so I'm going to take the expensive, efficient repair here. And now we have some greens that we could utilize. Um, we're in multiples of three, so I could just keep this for the next fight. Bomb thrower, I think we'll take some blue upgrades here. Blast area. Gun rotation speed could be good too. Blast damage, rotation speed. Scatter sub munitions. Okay. Come on. Okay. We're crossing. We are crossing. We still have five minutes. I'll try and do this a similar thing here where we fight while we go and mine out all these things and figure out what's in the mines before fully investigating them. Oh boy. This will be interesting to see. Holy. Yep, that's pretty good. Whoops. Oh, hell yeah, dudes. That guy just regrows balls. Look at me being a weapons expert here, guys. Wow. Small. Okay, so let's let's strategize for a second. What do I what do I really need? I need um, blues, and I need greens. Um, these titanium ones are blocking me from what right now? Nothing super crucial, I would say. So, we're gonna keep hunting. And we're gonna use this time to find, hopefully, two spots close to each other. This is small. Okay, we'll take that, actually. So, we've got eyeballs. <laughs> I could take this, but, like, it doesn't really do anything for me. Hypercells, I guess these are called. Ceramic crystals, hypercells. Don't know what the other ones are called. Um, if I do this, I can't even do a repair. There is a potential thing there for turrets. I could reduce the cost of turrets. That's another thing, actually. I need to make sure I have enough blues... So, let me... We're hunting We're hunting for blues right now. This will be interesting. This might just be my best bet at getting blues in uh, the red alien territory. I have no double stacks either so far. Talking about mine entrances, large. Okay, that's interesting. So what's interesting about this is it unlocks additional uh, repair options for me. But I'll be, I'll be honest. Um, I like it. What's my next drill? It's ceramic. Yeah, so I'm thinking... I think I'm, I need to hunt for ceramic, which maybe means I need to cross back over up top. 
And that's a bit concerning, but... I'm gonna do one more thing here. I'm gonna see if I can find one more mine. Down below. Okay. Oh, here's actually a double. This could be interesting. I don't know if you just lose access to the basic mines at some point. This is my last hope. Okay. So, this little mountainous region. This is some next level stuff. I'm going to go back through and I'm going to find a double spot. for the best. This is going to be tight. Frick. I'm stressed. First double spot I see, I'm on it. Build, 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 build. Build, build, build. Can I not build? Nice. Oh, I'm tucked in the corner here. Unfortunate. But that's okay. So these heal 30% and these heal 15 Now remember, we have spent time upgrading our uh, turrets. Oh, I'm stuck here. I'm going to take a hit. Better be careful here.
go right into that blob. This has got to be close, man. Come on, baby. Whew! This is really happening. This is really happening. Okay, baby. This is a whole new ball game now. This is the furthest we have ever been. That's right. The furthest. Now we need to go north, and we need to fight our way through another wave, which is fine. We're going to use the same strategy now, where we, like, go and do all the mines while we fight. Should I just take a quick little repair here? Yeah, I should. Wow. <laughs> this is nuts. Okay, baby. Let's go. I'm pumped. So, we clearly need... So... There's some upgrades between rounds that will help us a lot here, like durability. We're still pretty low, I think. I think we've only upgraded that like once or twice. It's gonna be a long run, isn't it? I have to go through this whole empty section. I don't need to be shooting, that's very annoying. And then, I, I do think finding, like, I don't know, things have just been clicking lately. I think finding those double um, spots is also really clutch. I think. I'm actually not 100% sure if I want greens right now, but I can't really process it either. Oh, I think that's... I think I know who that is. It's so cool to see, like, people that I know in here. We have decisions to make here. So I do need I do need a lot of blues right now. I need a lot of blues to fuel, you know, literally everything. Radar triggers 20% more often. Extra area of effect. I don't know, like, is this that good? It, like, at some point we're just mining so much, you know? Oh, you know what I actually need? I need ceramics. That's what I actually need. <laughs> Um, but we're going to take, we're going to take this upgrade. It's 
you know there are others living in the wall? We talk sometimes by knocking. What a chatty bunch. Yes. yes I did I did know that. So we're going to just make sure that we have some repair stuff and get some blues. See, like, I feel like that's good enough for us, this current level of pinging. Whatever could you be? Resource Harvester. Hmm. Is this worth investing in right now? Sure. I don't know if it's better for me to just spam those and like try to line them up because like there's so much movement it's really hard to predict i'm gonna grab these this <laughs> that's so cool wish i could go back to my nerd castle but need to find more xyrex bones this is uh splatter cat good friend of mine actually very cool no, I'm I'm not jealous that all these people are in the game. No, not at all. How could I be? <laughs> so I think if time allows us, um, we're going to clear this one, clear the other emerald one and then there was a basic one and if we can clear all of that and then head up and maybe start finding some ceramics uh keeping in mind potential turret placement stuff Maybe I should be bringing in that mini tether just to speed this up ever so slightly. Two bombs regardless on these is pretty good. Like when they get clustered like that, it's it's fine, but I'm not gonna lie, I would really like a weapon selection uh thing. Instead of the tabbing through. 
Okay, I'm gonna hit up this section for a bit. Now the downside here is that these runs can become incredibly long, I think. So we might have to, over time, if they get to like the crazy amounts, we may have to split them. See if I can get some of these going back here. Okay, that's fine. Oh, a drone. Oh, oh, this is, this is, this is the life right now. This is it, right? There's just these. Okay, so we got clouds above. We have a double spot here. And we still have some emeralds, I believe. Let's just take these back. Eight minutes, 52 seconds, guys. Um, clearly we want to put some upgrades into, like, our drone system and stuff, but... Ooh. Look at how resilient those guys are. Holy frick. Uh, I'm going to use my last repair here. My last, I just mean with those. That was a little stubborn, hey? already been here.
We still have seven minutes. I feel like we're okay right now. See, I get... It gets a little buggy in here. Sometimes you can't suck. I have the right idea for using this. I'm still uncertain of whether or not the inefficiencies that come from having to pick it up and stuff actually make a big difference. Yeah, like, I can't... That is so annoying! Ah! <laughs> Just losing my mind. Now, I wonder if these stack, right? Like, that would be very interesting. Holy moly, another one? I actually can't even think of what else we could get. Oh, I guess maybe the, uh... The exploding mine. Like the bomb to plant in here. So, I wonder, like, yes, I'm getting a lot of greens. Obviously, if I got a bunch of the crystal shards, we would have even more repair options. Yeah, the bomb. Okay, this is fine. I'm kind of just holding upgrades for right now. We're defeating these waves fast enough. These guys are pretty strong. These little rock guys are insane.
I wonder if this is worth my time now. Really tough call, honestly. Do we even have anything left in here? Now the argument for the for the um, mini tether will be, well, yes, you mine faster, and well, yes, if you upgrade it. But I just feel like with the opportunity cost of not being able to upgrade everything else, I don't know if it's super worth. So I do think this is going to be our next fighting spot. I'm just going to try to make the best of what we have. We have a minute left. I want to be able to set up uh, turrets and that's about the best I can ask for, I think, given the situation. Okay. Where are we going to fight? Can I build on this? Yes, I can. Oh my god. It looks like we're going to be fighting here. Uh, so, turret replicator. And actually, I can do... Oh, I can't! I just realized. I have the... The other harvester here. Otherwise, I could have had triple. And that, of course, is the way to go. And this is this is getting tough. I'm gonna try and build here quick. It doesn't give me confidence that that's building the right thing because of the way the highlights are working. Okay. Let's look at some upgrades, because I have a few. Um, what do I want? Okay, so it's it's glitched again, but somebody, you guys were telling me that you can use the arrows, so that's cool. Cost, no. Capacity, no. Okay, so these are, these are fine. Uh, extra damage, I'll take the cost of four greens, which which is healing. Um, the drone, I think, would be worth upgrading. At least all the basics. Reload speed. Barrel. Damage? Sure. Bomb thrower. Rotation speed. What is this using? Okay. Submunitions. Extra damage on submunitions, but that's two heals. I'm going to do it anyway. That might help to clear the sky a little bit faster. Let's go bomb power. And then, I can't get that. I can't get that. Machine gun fire rate for two. I need, I need um, multiples of three, so this would cost me one potential heal, so maybe I just save that. And I could go into something like this. 15% damage or fire rate. Okay, we are all in. Now, I don't need to wait till this gets to the bottom. I can, I'll can. i try to be doing this a little bit more effectively. Oh, look at that. That's different. What? Oh, 
Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Is that, is that, okay. I don't, I, I was assuming, oh, the eye is open. That's what we got to shoot. But maybe that's the thing we need to dodge now, but I don't see any other like nipples we need to hit. Frick, man, what a sick run that was. Oh, that was so cool. All right, well, we've got a ton of money. We have some, some blueprints in here. Torpedo drilling level two. So this is um, the thing that happens after you get your initial drill. Seismic generator, this is going to destroy things um, around the opening of the mine, I guess. Okay. And then uh, we could take time between waves. Seems good. And we'll take hook level two. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, um, this Leviathan Slayer seems pretty nice. So maybe our next upgrades will go into the rocket launcher, durability and stuff. But we still have uh, three keys to find. We need to figure out what's up with that last wave there. So the idea will be we try and stay away from the eye next time. And I'm really happy with our mining patterns. I think... I could argue that I should have went to the ceramic crystals earlier and focused on that instead of the greens. Because each of those ceramics is worth significantly more than the greens, but um, I was just uncertain there at the end. But now that we kind of know that seems like we've got an optimal pattern going, I think we're I think we're we're figuring it out. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support in this series, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.